what is going on guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new video now in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys exactly how to open up adobe premiere pro projects in vegas pro 18 because let's say that you're working with different editors and for example you're using different softwares you're using vegas pro and the other editor is using premiere pro and how you can actually like combine these softwares and not have to for example copy and paste everything into a different timeline which is also not possible and also not to export everything into one single video and then just have like just one file that you cannot edit to have every single cut into your timeline with the music the crossface everything like that will be opened right in the project so if you guys are excited for this video make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching and i would say let's get started right after the intro all right guys so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18. So the easiest way to convert a project with uh, Vegas Pro to Premiere Pro is actually pretty, pretty simple. So what I did is I just inserted one clip that I shot actually a few days ago to show you guys that everything will be transferred along into Premiere Pro. So now that I have this clip in, as you can see right now, the only thing you need to do right now is just to start editing. And for example, make sure to use all your regular cuts, your music, just edit your video in general. And then if you want to send it back to somebody else, you can just go and export it real, real simple. I'm not gonna make a really, really complicated edit out of this one. Otherwise this video would be, you know, 20 minutes long. You guys would be seeing me edit. So right now what we need to do is once we have our video right here, ready to be sent over, we're gonna go to file, at the very top and then we're going to not hit render as or save as anything like that but we're going to go ahead and hit export and now as you can see right here on this menu it says premiere slash after effects so we're going to click on there and now we have this box where it says archive now we can of course see where we want to save the file and give it a name so i'm going to hit browse i'm just going to save it on my desktop and then i'm going to just call this vegas test project but as you can see right now it already has a name because of course i tested this before it actually started recording so i'm just going to save this and i'm going to override it so now that we've done that what we need to do is we need to also make sure to check this box which says include media making sure that we will of course import all the files that we have in our timeline now this one is actually pretty optional if you want to you know check this one because let's say that you have a lot of files in your project but not in your timeline meaning that you have a lot of for example footage in your project media tab in your library that you haven't edited yet you can also choose to also include that one i would actually include that one so i would not check this one because otherwise you will exclude unused media so now that we're going to click on okay and right now it is going to prompt this box and of course it's finished pretty quickly but of course if you have a lot of footage and a lot of you know color grading and a really heavy project it might take a couple more minutes than just a few seconds in my case but now right here it says overall progress is finished and now we're going to click on open folder so right here as you can see it says a vegas test project now we're going to double click on there right now it's going to prompt premiere pro and actually guys i have to mention if you might use a cracked version of premiere pro this might not be working because i have this license from like a subscription uh, which is around like i think 19.99 a month i first had after effects that way but then i just thought like i actually use premiere pro a lot more than after effects so i just basically stopped the after effects project i mean the subscription and then i swapped it to premiere pro so if you have a legit version this of course will work but if you have a cracked one it could be that you know premiere pro is not be able to do this because of course that's the, the the most easy thing just to get a legit version because of course it might be a little expensive and for example like vegas pro but if you're able to you can get a monthly subscription for like 20 bucks and it is actually pretty pretty affordable all right guys so as you can see right now this is premiere pro i have my clip in here that i of course also had in vegas pro at the very top it says of course vegas test project this is basically the project that we can open using of course vegas pro to make our first rough edit so let's say that you have you know a few things you need to do in vegas pro and then you don't for example know how to do them in premiere pro you can first do them in vegas and you can export for example your video and then you can have your entire project right here as well if you need to, for example to do so like some really really advanced masking or tracking you can do that in premiere pro or after effects because this is not only for premiere pro but you can also open this project up with after effects because if i go to vegas pro back for a second right here if i go to file and if i hit export right here it actually says 
Premiere slash After Effects. So those are actually compatible. It's a really short video, guys. It's not really that complicated how you do it. It's just a few simple steps. And let's say that you have like certain errors that your project needs to be converted in some way. You can just do some research or just actually, you know, look into like a couple solutions because I don't really know how to fix these issues because I have a legit version of Premiere Pro and that's why it just works right away. So guys, this is basically how to open up Premiere projects from Vegas Pro in 2021. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. This is how you open up Adobe Premiere projects in Vegas Pro 18. It is actually pretty simple. Just go ahead and export the project out, open it up in the other software, and that's how simple it is. Everything will be transferred over. So if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you find this video helpful, make sure to reward it with a, a like down below. Subscribe if you're here for the first time watching, and if you wanna see more of these video editing tutorials every single week on the channel. So that's it. Thanks a lot for continued support, and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next one.